Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying six bakery items from Mondelli's Bake Shop. All sweets. All sweet stuff. So, we have right here, we have a chocolate chip sandwich cookie. We have a pecan crisp. This is called a flying saucer. This is a cherry turnover. That apple, too. We have a bonbon. And then we have a pedophore. So Mondelli's Bake Shop, I've we this is where we buy all of our birthday cakes. Yep. So if anybody wants a really excellent bakery cake um, for in the family, we always come to Mondelli's. They will do like different pictures if you want them to. They do an excellent job of decorating. Yes, yeah, so they they have a wonderful decorated cakes, but the the quality of the cakes is always the freshest and uh, they're just over the top sweet. Yeah, they're really good. And I mean, it's, it's a tr true bakery. It's cake. a true bakery and they've been around, they've been in Lexington for years and years. We've even come here during Thanksgiving and bought uh, rolls, ordered a rolls. Yeah, I don't and, know if they still do that or not. I'm assuming they do. Yeah, we did it a while back and ordered like rolls for Thanksgiving dinner. And we'd come pick them up and have those for Thanksgiving because they were just the best rolls in town. And I don't know if they still do that or not. Uh, but we hadn't uh, reviewed uh, much from them because I didn't know if people would be interested in hearing about a local bakery. But then enough of you have said, hey, why don't you go to uh, and try some of the local bakeries? And every time I mention Mondelli's and having the cake, I get people to that say, please try it. So that's why we went in today. We spent- And, and the Pettiform Bonbon are basically their cakes. They're just small. Yes. Uh, so we spent a total of $21, but I will give you uh, the, the, each, the price of each thing as we go over it. They also have a little shelf of uh, half price stuff that's stuff from yesterday or the day before um, that they're selling cheaper because it's it's a little bit older. But it's like the pedophores and stuff, who cares? They're and a lot of times they make up like cakes uh, that nobody buys and you'll ha you'll be able to go in there and get a whole cake. Yeah, they didn't have any today. They didn't have any. I was shocked. Yeah, no. they did, they, I think they had bonbons, but you, you got two for the price of one, basically. So do you have utensils? I got a knife. Stuff? Okay, yeah. so the first thing we're going to try is a pecan crisp. Yeah, and it it's a, looks like a very Can crispy. You, yeah, and look at the back. The back has tons of pecan, but it looks so nice and I don't remember. I've never had one of these from there. You know something I did not see today? Uh, they normally sell cream horns, and I did not see cream I horns. A cream horn anyway. um, the pecan crisp was three dollars. Yeah, it's very thin, but it and, um, it's like a pastry, but it's not a pastry. Oh wow, it is flaky. Um, mm -hmm. It's very flaky layers, like mm -hmm. um, like a croissant almost, mm -hmm. but it's not quite as puffy. The flavor of those pecans. Oh, I love that. Is excellent. And it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just a light sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very flaky. Mm-hmm. That's good, but it's different. It's just a different, it's a different kind of flavor, isn't it? I absolutely, I'm, I'm crazy about the uh, the flakiness of that. The, the, the texture is what wins it for that. Yes, and you really, really taste the pecans. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go in Mondelli's and get something that wasn't over the top sweet. That'd be a good one to go. That would be perfect. It is a little sweet though. Mm -hmm. but, so it's, it's a little sweet to it. It's like it's got a layer of like sugar on it when they baked it. But it's not like sugary, like buttercream. No, no it's, it's not sickeningly sweet. No. It's really um, good. I, I think that is absolutely delicious. And I'd never had one of those before. No, no I never heard of it. And now we're going to try a t cherry turnover. And you said they also had apple, apple turnovers. And God. this is huge. It was $3. So it was the same price as the, as, the pecan. As the pecan, yes. Yeah. So Kevin's going to try to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in half. So Not you only can, to make it eat. Ooh, it's very, uh, it just collapsed literally in layers. It's very flaky. Yeah. Do you want a plate to hold under your face? <laughs> oh my goodness yeah when i cut into it it didn't really cut at first it just kind of collapsed right because it's not um it's not what you would call a traditional um like i'm when i think of turnovers i'm thinking of like hand pies uh -huh. this is not like that this is like layers and layers and layers
I've never had a turnover like that before. No, this is like a pastry you'd buy at Disney. Uh, this is better. Oh, I, I'm just saying it's, it's like that with the layers and stuff. That's something it's they've fresher. had at Disney. Yes, this, um, so like I've only had the turnovers that you buy at the store mm -hmm. and they're very dense and chewy and they're um they're very close mm -hmm. this is is very very flaky or the um pillsbury yes yeah. and, and, and it, they're very they're not this risen they're not this layered mm -mm. they have literally looked thick um like um what is it called phyllo dough or whatever that mm -hmm. no it's like puff pastry they've taken puff pastry and just layered it and then put cherry stuff in there and folded it over and baked mm -hmm. it it's really good i wonder if they make their own pastry i bet they do i'm sure they do i mean why wouldn't they I mean, they are a bakery. They're a bakery. I'm sure they make their own pastry. Um, now you the, get little crumbs on The cherry is nice, but it's not a. It's not like a really, really strong cherry. No, no. It, my, if I had to complain, you know, I like to complain. Uh, if I had to complain, I would say I wish there was a little more cherry filling. More in cherry. It, but, but it's still good. If you want to dump the crumbs? Oh, uh, sure. Okay, so that, that was really good though. That was an excellent. I, would, I think it was excellent too. For a for a, a little uh, sweet treat, that would be really good. And it's really not super super sweet either. It's kind of on the level of that pecan, maybe That's a little what bit I was sweeter. Say. It might be a little bit sweeter because it does have some icing on right. top, but it's not much sweeter. Uh -uh. Do the flying saucer next, because I don't know what that is. It looks like it's a layered puff pastry too underneath. Okay, the flying saucer was four fifty. Yeah, but I don't. And it, you hold that up for a minute before you cut it. It feels. It, so let's look at the bottom. Does it have pecans in that bottom layer? What's that? I can't see. Okay, it looks it just chocolate? like one of those pecan crisps that we just tried. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, do you think Are those are pecans? I don't know. I don't know. We'll That's see. what it looks like. And it's got chocolate. It looks like butter buttercream. Butter cream. Yeah, it has buttercream frosting, and then it has chocolate. Um, so we'll have to see if it has pecans. Okay, it won't cut. Because that would make sense that they used a pecan crisp and just layered yeah, it. It doesn't cut, so I have to break it. <laughs> I'm trying not to dump it literally everywhere. Okay. You oh, want to take wow. a picture? Of yeah, the... I'm trying to. I've got my phone here. If you see me taking pictures, I'm trying to take some pictures before we eat it all. Yeah. And um. And it's we have to juggle more in the cars. So. Yes, it's. Oh yeah, there's pecans. So that is one of those pecan crisps. See, you can see the pecans in the bottom of it. Hey, what? That, that buttercream and chocolate elevate that to a whole different stratosphere. It's like, it's like out of this, it's like in the upper um, atmosphere of the earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's almost like a, it's not really buttercream, it's more like a, um, a donut, like you would have a donut filling, you know, that really thick cream that you have inside a donut. This is like a Boston cream, but like a hundred times better. That is my kind of dessert. 100% that is uh, incredibly sweet. Yeah. The, um, what is so impressive about um, that too, you still get the pecan, yeah. but the, um, the layer on top of that like buttercream and chocolate is so, it's almost like fluffy and light. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, um, it's, it's nicely whipped up. You would expect it to be dense. Yeah, and heavy, like a buttercream. And heavy, is. and this isn't, it's light. And, and it's like fluffier. Uh, but that one, if you're looking for something intensely sweet. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one to have. And the chocolate was a nice flavor. The chocolate was wonderful. Um, and everything about that goes really good together. Yes, it and is. The, you just gotta be careful when you're eating it because it is a crunchier, you can't just like break it. Because like, I was trying to cut it, you can't do it. Um, even breaking it, it's kind of hard to break, so. So now we're gonna try, let's try the pedophore. The pedophore. The pedophore is basically a piece of white cake, but it's in a smaller portion. Yeah. So, um, I can remember my mom ordering pedophores, like when she was gonna, um, when she was gonna have like uh, the ladies group, um, like if they were gonna have, uh, she was gonna have ladies over for some reason, she would order pedophores. Mm -hmm. Or if she was gonna take them into somewhere, she would order pedophores. The pedophores are 250 each. They did have, I couldn't take pictures in there of anything. Um, <clears throat> 
Well, I didn't uh, because I didn't feel comfortable to do that. But they had specially decorated for Halloween. Mm -hmm. They like had a black like cat. kitty cats and, and something, the, a ghost I think it was a ghost. Yeah, they were like 50 cents more though. You want to take a picture before you cut that? Oh yeah, I should. I should. But yes, they had a different, they had like a cat that was chocolate. They had uh, the ghost that was of course white. But they said it's the exact same thing. It was just decorated different. Yes. So they were just, they were more expensive uh, because they were decorated. So these, we just got the regular ones and you, they had like two different flowers. They had like orange flowers and pink flowers on top. Their cake is always so fresh. Yes, and that's, I mean, literally a piece of their birthday cake. Bakery cake. I mean, a birthday. That we used to have for birthdays. Yeah, bakery <laughs> cake in a little. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, if you didn't want to go buy a whole cake, which most people probably don't, um, those, you can buy a couple of those and just be, get your feel for birthday cake. It's so light and airy, mm -hmm. it's and very good. the cake is, it's not dense at all. No, it's very fluffy. It's, it's very fluffy very and pillowy, yeah. and the buttercream will, it'll make your teeth hurt, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> um, you do get a little grittiness from the sugar. Sugar, yeah. Yes. And that's not a bad thing in our book. We no, like that. No, I like I like that sugar. Yeah. I don't like sandy grit. I like a sugary grit. Yeah, we want the sugar. Um, so I'm all about the sugar. Um, yeah, I, I can't even tell you how many birthday cakes um, that we've had um, throughout the years. If I think about it, I might attach some pictures to the end of this video mm -hmm. of some of the birthday cakes we've had. I got a surprise home. cake from for Tammy one year. It was uh, of Guido, our pug, uh -huh. and uh, it looked just like it. They I did mean, a they beautiful did job. job. Kevin had printed out a picture, and they copied off that picture, mm -hmm. and they did a wonderful job. They did job. a really good job. Okay, so now we're going to have... I don't know if I can pick this up. I'll pick it up after I cut it before I put it on Tammy's bar. This is a bonbon. It's a little messy. And I believe it has some buttercream in the top. It yeah. It does. And then it's covered in chocolate. So it's a chocolate cake. Do you cake. want to cut that in half for you? Or you just want to eat it? Cut it in half. It is a chocolate cake with a, like a pocket of buttercream at the top. And then it is uh, coated in chocolate. And it was $3.50. You want to take a picture of mine? Yeah. Okay, have have we ever had a birthday? We always usually order a white cake. Yeah. Have we ever ordered a chocolate birthday cake? I those? have never ordered one, but I think Ashley has gotten one before. I don't remember having their chocolate cake. I just don't. It's always white cake for me. I'm gonna try just the cake. Hmm. That's a good chocolate cake. Some people might complain that that's not chocolatey enough. Oh, yeah. The cake itself, uh -huh. but you got all that chocolate frosting uh -huh. um, or ganache or whatever it is. It is so chocolatey that, that you don't have to worry about the cake. <laughs> that's good. It um, still wouldn't be my choice. I'd rather have a white, but. it Well, it's very sweet, but it's not, it doesn't come across as sweet. But it is a deep, rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. It is. It's good. And, and it's still super sweet, though. It's And it's still very, very moist. <laughs> and uh, as you can see. And um, well, it's got a lot of sticky chocolate on the outside. Yeah. If you had to, is there any other, you could, you could never compare that to a snack cake, of course. Oh, Lord, no. Um, um, it, no, but it's not. It's not like cocoa chocolate, which I'm glad because I, I, that cocoa chocolate is more bitter. Mm -hmm. Do you need a napkin or are you okay? Mm -mm, I'm, good. Um, I'm just licking my So fingers. it's not cocoa. It's literally like they made a chocolate ganache and, and like literally spread it over the top of it. It's very, very good. Very sweet. Yes. Um, but it's really not milk chocolate, but it's right. not semi-sweet chocolate either. No. It's kind of like... Is there something between semi-sweet semi and milk? It's, it's kind of in between. I agree with you. It would be between milk and semi-sweet because there's no... There's no bitterness whatsoever. No, but it's not quite as milky, creamy, sweet as milk chocolate is. So it's kind of in between. Right. It's really good. Delicious, yes. I still would prefer their white cake over their chocolate. But I that's would just too, a personal preference. But yes, that's just me too. Okay, the last thing we have to try for you. Kevin can this definitely hold this up. Manageable. 
This <laughs> is a chocolate chip sandwich cookie, and it was four fifty. So the pedophore was the cheapest thing we got. The pedophore was only two fifty, and yeah. that was the little piece of cake, basically. Yeah, that's basically what your dad used to call it, pop them. Just uh, pop the whole thing. Pop in your the mouth. whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> the the two most expensive things were the flying saucer and the chocolate chip sandwich cookie were both four fifty, and then. Um, the other stuff was three or 350. Um, I'm trying to cut it. I don't know if I'm gonna have success. They also had uh, cookies. They had- Oh yeah, just like sugar cookies. They had stuff. sugar cookies, but then they had decorated cookies for Halloween. Yeah. So it's not just a plain sugar cookie. You also get um, icing on the top because they had yeah. one that was like a mummy. Like so a frost it, cookie. Frosted yeah, frosted cookie. cookie. Yeah, so they did have those two. So this yeah. is, <laughs> yeah. What, which one do you take a picture of? Yours? Uh, I'll take a picture of yours. And I'll take a picture of mine too. Yeah, because yours has the plate underneath it, so it might be better. Okay. We used to go get cookies like this in the mall. Mm hmm. You know, as much frosting as it has in there. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. I mean, it's still super sweet. Mm -hmm. But it's, I was expecting it to be like sickingly sweet, but mm -hmm. it's really not. It's very sweet, but it's not that sweet. Mm. Did you notice if they just had chocolate chip cookies? Mm -hmm. They did. Next just, to these. Oh, okay. Um, they also had different sandwich cookies. I think she said they had oatmeal. Yeah, they, they have. Um, a chocolate chip sandwich and then chocolate chips and the oatmeal sandwich and the, mm -hmm. just the oatmeal cookie by itself. Mm -hmm. Now That's really good. Definitely better than the mall. They, I wanted to point <laughs> out, they do not sell donuts. Uh, no, the, the closest thing they have to a donut is that, um, that flying saucer. Yeah, but that, yeah, they don't, so if you're wondering. But um, and the, the turnover, that's kind of donut-like. If you're wondering, <laughs> yeah, why didn't you get any donuts? They do not sell donuts no. in there. No, they, it's a bakery. They don't fry. They, I guess they could have baked donuts, but yeah, like the cake donuts. Cake. But they just don't do that here. Um, the chocolate chip cookie is very soft. Mm -hmm. Those um, chips are really soft too. We've had those kind of chips in something else. That they're they're not the crunchy chocolate chips. They're they're soft. Mm -hmm. And the buttercream is it's it's incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's perfect. And they put enough in there to where it oozes out the side. Yeah. And so you're getting plenty of it. They don't skimp. Mm -hmm. They make sure that you get it all the way to the edge. They don't, they're, they don't leave any room at all. No, it, it's on good. the edge. It's really good. It's it's um. It's probably not something I would buy all the time, but that would be some of those treats I would get every, every once in a while. Uh -huh. Well, what's going to be curious is to see... What our favorites are? Yeah, what you choose for your favorite. I have... I have, I have a favorite. I have a favorite, too. I wonder if it's going to be... I think it's going to be the flying same saucer? thing. Yes, the flying that, that saucer. Was awesome. <laughs> the flying saucer Let me take that. Was, um, was absolutely delicious. That was the one that had the pecan crisp at the mm -hmm. bottom. And then on top, they have that buttercream and then the chocolate. That is absolutely hands down yeah. the best, but the the pecan crisp just by itself, it, like we said, if you didn't want something as sugary sweet, it is absolutely it really delicious. And too. it's a little sweet, like I said, it's it's they've got a little bit of sweetness there, so you don't have to worry about it being just all pecan. Um, they could turn it a little bit. It um, would be great with coffee or tea. Yeah, it would that, be nice just to, pecan just crisp. to eat, take it to work with you, and eat it in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And there were people. That's your breakfast item. There were people going in. There was a mother in there with her son. Yeah, they were. She, I think he got a brown. Or she got a brownie. One of them got a brownie. That's another thing. They yeah, had they do brownies. Have brownies. They had brownies too. Um, I got six things. I was trying to keep it manageable. Yeah. But yes, they did have brownies and regular cookies and sugar cookies mm -hmm. and decorated cookies and I They're, mean. What's interesting about this bakery, and, and I know we're giving the hard sell to this bakery, um, not only do their their flavors are really, really good, but they're really good decorators too. So, yes. so it's not just a flavor thing. It's, it, even if they tasted awesome, they've also got the addition of they can decorate stuff really mm -hmm. nice, even small stuff. So. And now, uh, yeah, I mean, 
you said we're giving the hard sell, but we, we genuinely, we've, oh, been, we like it. we've been going there yeah. for years. Yeah. You know, it's like if anybody asks, where, where do you, what, where do you go in Lexington for a good bakery cake? Mm -hmm. Go to Mondelli's. Yeah. I mean, I would recommend that bakery to anybody that said, where can I go to get a cake? Yeah. So or I mean, just bake goods. but we went in there and paid for everything just like anybody else would. Uh, yeah. We just, we want you to know how good it is. And I had gotten requests for it. So, uh, but truly none of these things were i would turn them down no no there's nothing <laughs> bad here no not one thing bad here at what's all. your number two if you had to pick the number two that you would get if, if they were out of flying saucers if they were out what of would be your second saucers, thing uh, i would get a turnover uh, me too i'd get the apple one but really yeah. i think you know i i thought that too i thought i wish i had gotten an apple to compare because them. i think it would have had more flavor yeah, than the cherry. probably has more of the cinnamon and apple flavor than the cherry did although the cherry was really the cherry's good nice, but you can't beat that layers of, uh, of pastry it was just uh -uh. amazing both yeah. of us uh, that shocks me that you picked that as your second oh, yeah. day yeah like i said i would just get apple but that's the only difference right yeah. so there's going to be lots of pictures at the end of the video as good as we could do. Uh, you know they're on my cell phone they're not the best pictures we're in the car the lighting isn't perfect nothing's perfect about this situation but uh they'll be as good as i could get right. and if i remember i'm going to try to uh, put some pictures at the end of cakes that we've ordered from here throughout the years so that that you can see because they really do do a beautiful yeah, job. They do a good job and and you know we live in winchester and we order from here and you tell them when you want to pick it up and everything so even if you live out of town if you live in richmond or georgetown or the surrounding counties you can still order from here and come and pick it up yeah they, they don't want you to wait too long because they want they don't want you to they don't want you to get it way ahead of time is what i mean they you want you want to get it, to it within fresh. a day or so of the birthday because they don't want you to they don't want to get stale or anything yeah you want it to be as fresh as possible yeah. but yeah definitely worth uh making a stop if you've lived in lexington for years and you've never been here yeah. absolutely worth it yeah if you want to get an idea of what their birthday cakes are like or their cakes are like get a pedophore get a pedophore and then you'll know and yeah, then you'll be like close. you'll be I like, actually yeah. think the cakes are better than the pedophores but the pedophores will give you a good idea i do too i think the actual birthday cake is better yeah and usually the birthday cakes you're getting like two layers so you're getting yeah, well if you get a sheet cake you don't that's true but we but always, they do have layer cakes we too. always get a layer cake yeah. so when you're getting one of those you're getting an additional layer of buttercream yeah so, most parties you're gonna get a sheet cake though yeah that's true uh, but i hope you enjoyed the video let us know if you enjoyed it please and thanks for watching